Express your gratitude, express your love, express your thanksgiving. Come on, somebody. Lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Come on, come on, express your gratitude. Come on, lift up your voice this morning. Lift up your voice. Oh, we are grateful. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Jesus. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Father. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory. Oh, we give you glory, Jesus. Oh, Radha Devashayava. I am born in soul. Why am I in a mind? Sira, it's if I was a man, I said, Why am I in a soul? Come on, we are dancing. Why am I in a soul? Oh, my head, walk when you never move. It's if I was a man, I said, why am I not so wet on your me? I don't know me. Oh, my head, why am you? Why am I that I am on it so? Why am I in a mind? It's if I was in the last time. Why am I in a soul? Why am you? Why am I that I am on it so? Why am I in a mind? It's if I was in the last time. When you make a sea, I can't fool. You see, Rabo, I had turned to more. When you make a sea, I can't fool. You see, Rabo, I had one of the Cassiers. If he is a one to see, to see a coupon, what is a half a year? Me, yes, why, what are the other me? What money parts of me? Me, I had I am to a yes, why, what are the other me? What money parts of me? Me, I had a I 
so a mommy. What can you imagine? I see a baby. What can you do? What move before I do for way? Don't help but take time. Then the crowd so a mommy. Don't bury me. What need me now? Me ya. What in quality? I will be to me. What can you do? What can you do?
together for the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning is another glorious morning that you and I are privileged to walk into the presence of the Lord, to receive from him and also to be impacted by him. Hallelujah. This morning we are, you, are, you are to expect nothing but an impactation. Hallelujah. Because this morning the man of God has made us to understand, I just left his office, is going to allow himself to be poured into our lives so that we are going to be impacted this morning. So um, I'm so excited that you are here because I know that you will never live here the same. By the time this morning service is over, you are going to be a brand new person. Hallelujah. Oh, if you are clapping, you can clap. I said you are going to be what? A brand new person because of the impartation. Please, how many of you have gotten a copy of our father's book, The Dressmaker? Show by hands if you don't have a copy so that we can bring you a copy. It's just 40 CDs. These books gives you information for reformation after deformation. It talks about how man was deformed, stripped, and the information, the knowledge, and the wisdom you need to be reformed after deformation. It's a power pack book. We send some to Science and Tokens. The people almost, you know, everybody, the, the copies were fast sold. And the people, you see a lot of people killed just to buy our father's book. And the autographs, we have to be on him and beg him, to, please let's be on our feet to do the autographs. So if you are not here, if you are here and you don't have a copy, I entreat you to make sure you get a copy. Just for, how many of you need some? If you need some, just lift your hands. The ushers are bringing some. Lift your hands, they'll bring you some. Please go here, just 40 cities. Make sure you get a copy before you leave. Lift, just lift your hands if you need a copy. Just for test this. They'll bring you some. The information for reformation after deformation. You, 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 you will love this book. Hallelujah. You don't just have to buy one. You can buy some and give to a friend as a gift. Hallelujah. You can buy some and give to a friend as a gift. And I know it's going to be a blessing to the two of you. Hallelujah. The man of God is already in. We do want to take much of his time. We want to take our first offering. I want you to lift up your offering. Take your pounds, your euros, your dollars, and the cities, of course. And then let's give unto the name of the living God. Please kindly project our digital platforms so that all those who are joining us this morning can also, you know, contribute and be a blessing. Um, we are streaming this morning on YouTube live Apostle Emmanuel Adade. We are streaming live Facebook Apostle Emmanuel Adade and Glorious Zion. Any of these streaming links, you can go there, write a comment, copy the link and share to all platforms that you believe in. And as you are being part of this great conference and are helping with the publishing of this great publicity, God is also going to lift you up, open you up and take you to the next level of life in the ministry. Hallelujah. Let's invite the son of this house, Minister Prince, to lead us as we take our offering and then our ministrations as well. Ushers kindly direct us from the back as we give our offering. Let's put our hands together as we welcome Minister Prince.
us sing it, church. Desire and I long to worship you as the dip and it for the water.
hands together for our ministries hallelujah ladies and gentlemen the said man is ready this morning to be used once again by god and to be a blessing to you and i hallelujah um he is also known as the healing apostle and we keep giving testimonies about what god is doing with him how many of you were here yesterday morning there was a short we had a short time but it was a short ministrations hallelujah there was a lady in the midst of the congregation that papa picked i think the lady is here i spoke to her not long ago hallelujah and uh, papa prayed for her and gave her water to drink her name is sarah sarah are you here please come let's put our hands together for her <laughs> hallelujah so papa gave her some water to drink while she was here she tried to throw up but she couldn't right after the service while she was on her way back home she started throwing up hallelujah and the things that came out as she was saying it tells you that deliverance has taken place <laughs> hallelujah because mostly when you are throwing up you are throwing up what you have taken in but what was coming out was something was something different it tells you that what papa was declaring some things were taken up from from her she went house she went to the house it continued hallelujah last night the deliverance continued even throughout the whole night even till this morning hallelujah and as our sister is here she has been freed what was tormenting her life has he, she has received a total healing hallelujah hallelujah there's more she wants to say but time will not permit us this is to tell you that there is god in this house and i keep telling you that the god of apostle emmanuel Dade is bigger than your cancer bigger than your problems bigger than your anxiety bigger than your frustrations there is no problem that you are going in that is bigger than the god of this grace so this morning like i said there's going to be a deposit there's going to be impactation i want you to function your mind fasten your seatbelt don't just be a, a spectator make sure you are part of what is going on and i promise you you are also going with your own testimony hallelujah let's put our hands together for our sister as she sit down listen if you are carried here you will walk alone if you are brought here dead you will wake up and go home alive hallelujah whatever problems you brought you are leaving all your problems here today why because you are going back liberated and freed in the name of jesus hallelujah are you ready for our father please let's be on our feet are you sure you're ready i can't see your excitement oh i can't see your excitement i can't feel your excitement is somebody ready oh i can feel you this morning are you ready ladies and gentlemen he is the youngest preacher of our time the newly ordained apostle general of obwasi a man unsinized anointed ordained consecrated and set apart to be used at this end time he is a pace setter, a power founder, and a repairer of the bridge. He is an apostle of God who operated with a strong healing gifts and operated from the office as a prophet. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an international, intercontinental figure, a man that is highly sought after all over the world, traveled throughout the continent of this nation, not for fun, not for entertainment, but for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning you are now our privilege to sit under the ministry of our Father. I want you to help me with your shout and with your clappings as we welcome into the podium of the living God, our Father, Apostle Emmanuel Atta Akwasi Adade, the gentle jack. Come on, put your hands together for him. Hallelujah. I thought you were going to give it to Jesus. Mm. 
the only one that deserves can you be on your feet and give the lord a hand clap offering please take your seats and each one of us is welcome to this morning session i believe that it's these are days of visitation that no sensitive and smart person must miss because there are some things when you miss them i've come to understand that opportunities every one of us is given an opportunity in life and what is meant for you could be taken by another man so opportunity missed in life is never destroyed but only transferred amen so you have to be very smart in life so that you don't miss what is meant for you because when you miss it there is another person who is not even meant for that is smarter and more sensible and sensitive than you and he can grab the opportunity are you are you are you hearing it yes um my brother was sharing a testimony uh, when he was ministering somewhere in malaysia and he had called a woman who was believing god for the fruit of the womb and um, was ministering to the lady and said i see the lord touching you and what you have missed over the years being tripled and the woman was just standing looking at the man of god he wasn't shouting he wasn't smiling no excitement nothing and there was a woman in the congregation who was also believing and trusting god for the fruit of the womb she got up out of the chair stood behind that woman the man of god was busy listening to and tapped her and said i receive it bypass the woman and placed a seat on the altar a year later that woman that was sitting down had triplets the one that was ministered to is still sitting down <laughs> and somebody here by miami i know about you amen so tell somebody these are your days of visitation tell somebody these are your days of visitation i will i think i need to have time and work on this and finish this book on misinterpretation i have that agent agency in my spirit misinterpretation misinterpretation is killing the church is killing people is killing lives killing destinies how we are not able to discern the seasons and the times the sons of Issachar were children who understood the seasons and the times and knew exactly what they had to do sometimes it's not even enough to know the season but what to do within the season as much as I'm a prayer a praying student there are times I pray for some things eh? and the Lord will give me insight stop praying go and sow a seed hallelujah tell somebody know what to do in each season of your life time, time is fast spent but i want us to acknowledge the presence of all the fathers and mothers in the house we have the ministers of god hey hallelujah We have us of Mame Linda from CCC and our Miss Reverend Kingsley, my son, all the way from Sunyani. We have Reverend Amule Kujo, Kujo, sorry, who is the chairman for the Fellowship of Churches of a wonderful man of God, very unassuming. But getting close to him, I was telling my wife. There are some things I've learned about this man. Me, I'm a student of life. You don't need to be enrolled in an institution to become a student. That's why God gave you five senses. Your senses are for studying and learning. So me, I don't even get messages reading the Bible. Yeah. Tell somebody, be a student of life. Can't you say, shiandie, shiandie. Yeah. So there are a lot i'm learning from him he doesn't even know getting close to him let's salute this great 
man of God and one of the fathers of the land. We have our father, Reverend Sabin, also in the house, one of the founding fathers of Christianity. They started SU preaching to I mean uh, thousands of people in villages. Hey, and go for a boy, Juma, and they are still standing. 70 something. They are still standing. They are still standing. They are still preaching. They still love the Lord. And they still even come to church earlier than some of you, the young people. Will you clap and celebrate grace? Thank you. Thank you. Please take your seat. We have our mother, Margaret Mensa, also in the house, a praying woman. Uh, There are some people, we call them the decorative ornaments of the church. You never see them. They are not frontliners. They are always behind. But the kind of things they do, she's one of them. She's a praying mother. She's a praying woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah. We have my good brother all the way, all the way. When, when, when I, was, I was being made, when I was in the making, when I was being processed, he saw me. So do you see me as a final product? He saw me when I was being made. Reverend Abroso, he is in charge of living faith of Boise. God bless you, sir. Yeah. You know, you know why almost every week or two he will check up on me. Yeah. He will just walk up here to the office. Apostle, I just came to check up on you. What a man. God bless you, sir. I don't take your love and passion for granted. <laughs> Hallelujah. All our sons, please be on your feet. We have Reverend Abraham, Reverend Johnson, Reverend Imprim, Bishop Emmanuel J. God bless you. Reverend Prophet Felix. We have uh, Reverend Kojo Faithful. We have Reverend God all the way from Ghana and my administrator, my, my financial secretary. Right hand man. Oh, give it to after him. Some of you don't know, but very soon he will be ordained. He will also be preaching. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You think he counts only money? He will be preaching. And truthfully, truthfully, the kind of things this guy does, it goes beyond counting money about ministry. Yes. He spends 24 hours, 17 hours. In fact, always, all the time, he's the last person to leave church. You don't believe that today, even he left here around 3, 4 a.m., but he's still back. Yeah, working for God. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. And God bless some people. Don't talk about it, too. Yeah. So very soon, the oil will come upon him, and you see him preach. Amen. And we have our mother, the resident pastor, Abemus Mama, also in the house, Reverend Messi Abadi. Let's give it up for him. Thank you. Amen. Can you please lift your right hand towards the heavens? Spirit of God, we have come to be thought, we've come to be instructed, we've come to receive from you. We know that we never get disappointed for where your spirit is, there is liberty. Liberate each one of us mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, in every area of life so as to move with the speed of light in fulfillment of our prophetic destinies. Thank you for your visitation. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus, let's give you a have for Jesus and for our international audience don't join joining us from other parts of the world you are most welcome all I want to tell you is that we love you so much and I believe that there is no distance in the spirit as you join us this morning yesterday I had a call um, from I think London uh, some pastors that joined us especially during the morning section and how to tell them discussing and sharing their testimonies how they were blessed 
I believe that the Lord is here to touch every one of us. Amen. Amen. Let me go straight to the point. There are some things that I'm going to say very quick. And then um, this is um, 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 a leadership meeting with a difference. In a season of divine connection. The Bible talks about the fact that God is our father and we are his clay. We are the clay and he's the father. And he is the potter of our lives. You realize that you can't use any sand as a potter in molding. <laughs> any sand that is used in the hands of a potter must have been sieved. Because in order to have a clay, you need a sieved sand to get the fine material. Can I talk to somebody? You need a fine material out of the sun in order to have a clay because it is only with a clay that a porter can control and mold stuff in shapes according to his plan and desire am i making sense that is to tell you that process is something that none of us can avoid it means that even God before he gets you and I to be on his side to fulfill destinies we need to be processed because he is the father and we are the clay and as I've said you don't just get a clay you receive a son to gain the fine material out of the sand as a clay. Somebody shall process. Now, I said that process is very critical. Leaders are not born, but leaders are made. Leaders are processed. Everybody, everybody under the sound of my voice has the potential to becoming a leader and in fact god's paramount plan or aim for each one of us is to be a leader being a leader doesn't mean that you are going to uh, 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 mobilize thousands of people or hundreds of people no you are a leader in your own rights you take control of two people in your house hello you 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 sell water but you have two Two, two children uh, 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 around you who take over after you when you are not there every one of us lead some way somehow that is why yesterday I said that leadership is influence according to the definition given by Mas Maru and it is so true somebody say leadership is influence but I want to go straight to my topic for lack of time Leaders digest. Please take your seat. Somebody say, Leaders digest. Hey, say it well. Leaders now, Leaders digest. What I mean by Leaders digest is that we're talking about timeless principles for personal, team, and organizational success. Timeless principles for personal, team, and organizational success. How it's God, God is interested not only in our success but in our significance and relevance even though the bible talks about success the bible says that we should, what meditate on the word day and night and observe to do all that is written therein hallelujah and by so doing we will have what good what you will have what come on am i talking to students of the bible we will have we will have what we will have what good success it means that we have bad success so there are some successes we call success they are not success in the eyes of god they are bad success if you steal somebody's money and build three houses in a year and everybody salutes you why the guy has money it is success in the eyes of men but it's a bad success 
if you destroy somebody's ministry take 100 people out of 150 and start your church and you think everybody you have 100 members in a week when somebody has been building building a church for five years and you snatch 100 people and start a church in a week and you have 100 people comparing yourself to that person and everybody say wow the, the guy is doing well that is success in the eyes of men but it's a bad success I know I won't get amen. amen you take care of somebody's shop somebody's business that has been in existence for 10 years and in a day you take 80 percent of the person's capital run away and go and start your business somewhere and everybody says wow in one year in one month look at what the guy has achieved listen it is success in the eyes of men but it's a bad success somebody say bad success somebody shout bad success shout it bad success shout it again bad success i pray that you pursue good success come on son sit down have a seat sit down hallelujah a son from cameroon bless you Period. right watch this watch this that is the reason why please sit down for me that is the reason why process is very critical in our make because I made a statement that you can never be useful until you are processed you can never be useful until you are processed now in processing I'm talking about brokenness I'm talking about brokenness and let me choose Jesus' own words according to John 12 23 25 I hope my language doesn't become a barrier he said except a corn of it fall to the ground and die it abides alone but when it dies it bears much for what fruit say a banana from and swaba now Jesus before that he said the hour has come that the son of man might be glorified thereby that was the first statement now so for the for this the glory of this of God to be revealed in his son there was the need for the son to go through some brokenness to go through a process that the, the glory cannot just be revealed but the glory must go through must pass through something that is what we call success that is what i refer to as brokenness tell somebody your level of brokenness determines access determines your access spiritually <laughs> it is therefore important for us to understand jesus said when the the wheat falls to the ground and die and he was referring to his own life he referred to his life as a grain he referred to his life as a seed he said except it falls to the ground and die somebody say die somebody say die now the word die looks very simple but scientifically when you plant a seed before you see the seed coming out to become a tree in the future the seed must have gone through what we call what germination and the germination is a process and there are a lot of conditions that would have to prevail over the seed at the end of which that seed will be broken down into a rotten stage when it gets to its rotten stage then the real potential in the seed we begin to show say abano lift from the enwa ahodi na wo mni empiema there is something god has deposited in you there are gifts god has given to all of us but not until like i said yesterday we get totally broken that which is hidden the potential cannot be revealed there is a need for brokenness because the greatest resistance to your manifestation is your flesh the greatest 
resistance to your manifestation and your revelation is yourself itself say self there's an enmity between your spirit and your flesh as the bible says in romans 8 am i, am I making sense can i can i talk a little bit i hope so will be at my say are you getting it now i'm not preaching to pastors alone i'm preaching to everybody whatever you do in any area of listen discipline because god is raising leaders god brought us here for impartation i'm talking to somebody here eh? you don't have 10 cities but in a matter of three months six months one year you are a billionaire god is raising you god is prepared oh, oh, i thought i thought i was talking to some people <laughs> you are going to live your life for others that is my philosophy you must live god called you he blessed you to live your life for others it's not all about you tell somebody it's not all about you am i making sense here am i making sense here okay so let's let's go let's go let's go very quick because for lack of time let me give you some points and let's go this is the first statement I made. If you are not processed, you can't progress. If you are not processed, you can't progress. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay, me. If you are not processed, you can't progress in life. How many of us want to progress? They tell somebody, be broken, be processed. Hallelujah. I wish I have time to pick these points and explain them in detail for, for lack of time. Amen. Yes, like I said, if you want your tomatoes, the raw tomato to survive for the next one month, you can't keep that raw tomato in its raw state. You need to do something about it. If you can work on it, then that tomato can live a little longer. Three days in manna tomato now pro. But when you, you you boil it or you blend it and preserve it in a can or a plastic and put it in the fridge, it could be there for more than maybe two weeks and it can still use it. If you are not processed you can't progress you want can i talk to you you want possessions but you don't want to be processed we are a generation of possession and we possess things that if are not even meant for us i possess your car i possess your watch I possess what but there is no possession without process in order to progress you must be processed tell somebody the next thing i want to talk about is that any product that is not processed cannot be preserved any product that is not preserved processed sorry cannot be preserved how many of us want to be preserved you want your life your blessing your, 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 your favor your ministry whatever god has given to you you want to see more blessings you want your blessings to live long hello am I, am I in church tell somebody without being processed you can be preserved so without process no preservation am i making sense and i'm talking about you one again i made a statement and i think it's one in one of my books the process is for the purpose of longevity longevity so i say bibi cha so i say bibi cha and i told boy i say now you're more drama 
Now, can you imagine? I ask you, I want, I want some light soup. You get to the kitchen because you have all, all the ingredients. And in 10 minutes, tell me, Papa, the soup is ready. 10 minutes because everything is there. You have the fish, you have the meat, you have onion, you have uh, uh, um, um, garlic, you have your tomatoes, you have your garden, it's everything. In 15 minutes, Papa, Bibi, my inquiry, 15 minutes. Hello? 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to Yes, I'm going to go. Oh, I'm Mama, will you drink that soup? The whole soup made in less than 15 minutes. That's a matter. Hallelujah. Process is for the purpose of longevity. Say longevity. Do you know what? The reason why God is taking you through all the processes and all the events of your life is so that when he takes you to that level he wants to take you to, when he gives you whatever he wants to give you, when he anoints you, when he raises you up, when he places you in a place of prominence, you can live long to fulfill your purpose. As a old born Sema Brown, once you see let me make this point, then we go. Process ensures increased value and validation. Process ensures increased value and validation. Yesterday, I explained this when you buy a raw orange from the market, you can get a basket full for five cities. That if you want a fruit juice in one liter box or 1.5 liter, the price could be three times more. The basket of oranges, even though literally the basket of oranges seem more, but the difference is the basket of oranges are raw material that are easily subject to corruption, but the processed fruit juice has gone through some preparations and a lot of things have gone into it in repackaging and rebranding it so it is orange but not just an ordinary ordinary orange from the market it is a processed a rebranded orange so the orange the raw orange you can keep in your basket for how long only an kaku basket my bet at are saying three, four, five days. Nini na bese, but the same orange when processed can sit at the shop for two years, and it will not be messed up. So processes ensures increased value and validation. That is why everything process is more expensive. That is why a man, a woman, that have allowed himself or herself to be processed, to be worked on. I told you a man is different from his gift. You have been gifted. But the man has the responsibility of developing yourself. And I don't have time because when I go to that site, it will take me maybe one month. It is one area I lost so much. Capacity building capacity building and when you check, check Jesus' life Luke 180 Luke 240 Luke 252 and the Bible says and the child was strong in the spirit before he was manifested unto Israel Luke 240 and the child was strong in the spirit and in wisdom before he was manifested unto and the child increased in stature and in favor it tells you the processes that Jesus himself had to go through as God incarnate by building mental spiritual emotional capacity to become a leader So the essence of all these processes is in giving us or building different capacities that will be needed along the way. We are gifted power. You can sink heaven down. But we your, your character stinks. You are a singer. You are a preacher. You preach so powerfully. You have been invited as a guest preacher. By the time you leave, you have 70% of the numbers of the church members.
when there are pledges you say see me at the hotel and then they collect the pledge hey shh, can i talk to you you can never build your future on your gift you build your future on your character I don't care how gifted you are. I don't care how gifted you are. You may be the most gifted preacher, the most gifted prophet, the most gifted whatever. If you lack character, you are going nowhere. Because gift will give you exposure. Character will give you sustenance. Your gift will create the platform for exposure, but your character will sustain you. So Jesus went through that stages of capacity building. The Bible says that when anointing was noticed on him at the age of 12, and they brought him to his parents, and he was subject unto him. Or bread and one say, none was that one. So he was rubbing shoulders with the rabbis. The guy was speaking so intelligently that the rabbis were wondering, ah, how can a 12-year-old boy ask intelligent questions like this? The anointing was on him, but there was the need for Jesus to be subjected to his parents for further training for 18 years of Jesus' life that nobody talks about. And that is the most critical aspect of Jesus' make. That is the most silent moment of his life. And in your mem your moment of silence, that is where God works on you. No, in that moment of silence. When they killed Jesus, the first day heaven was quiet. Second day heaven was quiet. But heaven's silence is a message. Heaven's silence is a message. Anytime you pray and heaven is silent, it's a message. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I think probably I have to. Tomorrow I have to gather a new audience. Are you ready? Quickly. I have a lot to give to you in, in the next 15 minutes. Watch this. Now, can I preach my message? Can I preach my message now? Okay, I'm about to preach. What I gave you was a preamble, a preface, an intro. The need for every one of us to be processed. But we want to do a case study. And let's make reference to Luke, uh, sorry, um, um, First Kings chapter number 17. And I told you that I love that scripture that much because it is full of revelations. And anytime I read it, that's things that I, I keep seeing. And it's a background to my book, um, um, is it advancing to the next level? I, I, where's that book? Where's that book? Where's that book? Yeah, yeah. Advancing to the next level. When you read this book, eh, it's all about Elijah. Tell somebody, God is working on everyone of us. Can't you say, Nyami yeyi nina huwejuma? Can't you say, Nyami yeyi nina huwejuma? Tye, God is, prophet made a statement that God sometimes will allow some challenges and problems in your family. Because he wants to raise you as a solution. So he will allow poverty to invade your house and build you up. To come and break the back of poverty. I want to aim it In Luke, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Luke. In First Kings chapter seventy, can we quickly go there and learn some things? There are three things that I'm going to quickly talk about, but they are too detailed. Three things I'm going to talk. Say leaders digest. Say leaders digest. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I say leaders, say, hey, papa, na mi leader, mi nyazo fomi nyazo. You are leader. You stay on your own. You are a leader. Because when you come out of your room in that public house, the kind of things you say, the kind of things you do, you are influencing people. Leadership is influence. So either you influence people positively or negative, negatively. That makes you define yourself. Tell somebody, I'm a leader. Or say it, say it again. Francesca said, I am a leader. From today, you can't lead that. Oh, some other day. You can't just oh, that is the fellowship. Master. You are a leader. You are also a leader. And there are a lot that is expected of you. Now, according to, can I have the scripture? 
Okay, so let me read from the last screen. And Elijah the Tishbite of the Hephthites of Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. Verse 2. And the word of the Lord came to him saying, Get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook sheriff which flows into the jordan and it will be that you shall drink from the brook and i have commanded the ravens to feed you there so he went and did according to the word of the lord for he went and stayed by the brook sheriff which flows into the jordan Six, the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. And it happened after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Continue. And the word of the Lord came to him saying, Arise, go to Zarephath which belonged to Zidon and dwell there see I have commanded a widow woman there to provide for you so he arose and went to Zarephath when he came to the gate of the city indeed a widow was there gathering sticks and he called to her and said please bring me a little water in the cup that I may drink and as she was going out to get it he called to her and said please bring me a muzzle of bread in your hand so she said as the lord your god liveth, i do not have bread only a handful of flour in the bean and a little oil in a jar see i am gathering a couple of sticks that i may go in and prepare for it my, for myself and my son that we may eat and die wow and elijah said to her do not fear <laughs> and do as you have said but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me and afterward make some for yourself and your son for thus said the lord god of israel the bin of flour shall not be used up nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day the lord sends rain on the earth Abakaya. so she went away and did according to the word of elijah and she and he and her household ate for many days i thought you were going to be on your feet and give the lord a hand clap offering for the reading of this scripture please take your seat for a moment there are three things that i want to talk about three things very quick in fact have a lot to say but for lack of time three things say leaders digest now in a season of divine connection everyone that wants to be used by god in a leadership position and as will be our dear brother said and we didn't be jump and so be our brother bob and his war no i'm not about this i'm a half for watch this he told abraham i'll bless you so that you come a blessing the reason why god is blessing you is not for self let me tell you no man's gift is for himself no man's gift is for himself your gift is for others and your gift is for a lift whenever god gives you a gift it is for others that is why a gifted healing evangelist will fall sick and call for another healing evangelist to lay hands on him because your gift is never for you and that is the reason why can I make a serious statement? That is the reason why God did not give any human being everything we ever needed to make life fulfilled. There are some things you need in order to fulfill destiny. That is with another person. That is why the Bible says, let us learn to esteem each other better than ourselves. Everybody needs somebody in life because there is something you need to, in another person to be complete. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you, somebody? hallelujah and so the bible says 
Elijah has made a statement. God is now, watch this, God is now working on this man as a servant of God. But that was the beginning. He makes a statement and God honors it. Hey, me since you talk, me Elijah. So far that day, me since you talk three years, and God said, Daddy, I've honored your word. And the guy went to the radio, he went to the TV stations and made it a public statement. And every said, from today, for the next today, 20, uh, 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 2022, there shall be no rain until 2025, according to the word of Adade. On radio, published. And true to his word, there was no rain. So he becomes the boss in town. The most popular prophet in town. When he's coming, he's walking his like this. Elijah the Tisbite. The man of the moment. That is a problem of many of us. We see little blessings and we raise shoulders. We see little favors and we take you on top of everybody. We see little openings and it gets into our heads. But God told Elijah, I have honored your word. But watch this. Your word, your own words, has created an issue. Until the word of the Lord came to pass, the word of the Lord tried him. Watch this. Any prophecy you have received. Now, we need to take time and teach them. You see, heavy prophecies that has received this in the house over the years. But let me tell you this. Don't go and sleep and think that prophecies will just walk to your bedroom and becomes a reality. When you are given a prophecy, you are given a raw material to work with. God is just telling you the end from where you are. It's the prophecy is your future. And God says, this is where you are, but this is your future. And Paul told Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before for you, thou by them might war a good warfare. So when you are given a prophecy, it is time to fight through battle until that word becomes a reality. It is not time to go and sleep. Elijah made a prophetic word, Papa. And his own prophetic word created a problem. Doesn't you talk? And if there's no rain, what would you expect? Drought. And when there's drought, famine. The day you profess Christ, the day you said you made the decision. When I made the decision that I am I'm going to follow the word of the Lord, I'm going to follow what the Lord is telling me. So I'm quitting school. My father said, I'll kill you. You, I'll kill you. And my father was literally looking for Papa. My words, by speaking my conviction, by expressing my conviction to my father, to my parents, nobody understood me. What about them? Oh, where they suffer? What about them? My words. The words I spoke was the word of God. My conviction, what the Lord told me, but it created a problem for me. You want to follow God? Can I talk to somebody here? Elijah's own words created a problem and closed the heavens. Now he has to deal with an issue. Now, for lack of time, the first thing I want to talk about, if you want to become a leader, in this season of divine connection, so would you already say, Already, I want you be basso, nor do I be be. I'm not a brabby and fast one for fra. Watch this. There is one thing. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? The greatest gift God gave to man is not presence, presence, P R E S E N T S, presence. We want presence. I want a car. I want a house, I want a visa, I want it. We pursue presence instead of presence. The greatest gift of God to humanity is presence, not present. And then I think I'm dealing with the wrong people. Say presence. Say presence. Watch this. The moment Elijah made the statement and God confirmed it, 
it told the people or it was a statement that God was with him presence means God is with me say presence somebody shout presence now the presence of the Lord was what was with him immediately he said that do you know what true leaders do true leaders seek presence and not presence I'm I'm going by what I put in here for you true leaders they don't seek presence they seek presence <laughs> hallelujah why because every leader is an influence and I told you that true leaders follow others and they are inspiration to inspire others to also follow them hallelujah so true leaders always what they seek what presence not presence i don't know if i'm making sense to somebody here so the bible says that he showed his acts to the children of israel but to moses he showed him his ways he showed his ways to moses but his acts his wonders to the children of israel because it is the way that leads to his presence but the act confirms manifestation the act confirm the manifestation of his presence of his spirit but his ways lead you to his presence where his spirit is oh shout it two leaders pursue presence and not presence if you can give us the powerpoint it will help me quickly 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 i'm saying some dangerous things here ha! let me tell you this son elijah makes a statement and gets into trouble but most of the time watch this that is the 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 the, the, the power of misinterpretation can i make a statement challenges in your life are not always a sign of lack of his presence <laughs> challenges in your life are not always a sign of the lack of god's presence so god is with me and i'm going through all these failures all these challenges is god truly with me I conceive and I, and I miscarry. I do this and it doesn't work. I, people promise me and they disappoint me. Is God truly with me? Now, so most times the enemy will blatantly lie to you and make you feel that the challenges you are going through is a sign of the lack of the presence of God in your life. But that is not true. It is not always true. And some of us Can I talk to you? <laughs> Can I talk to you? Me ma bro sembi an kancho se se nyame doa en ka wo mesi we se ke nyame doa en ka we nto se ke nyame yo doa en ka wo ba wu ke nyame doa en ka kunu nyao en ka nyame doa en ko ahwe do If God really loves you, you would not have lost certain things. It is not true. Most times, the things we lose in life are set up for the new dimension watch this watch this challenges come to make us better and can I say this it is not the challenge you go through that matters but how you survive the challenge that confirms his presence can I explain myself can I explain myself you see people going through very difficult things and they are still around all the women who understand me a woman bleeding for 12 years profusely profusely for 12 consecutive years or so forth. is it not the challenge to the extent that she goes out to all the countries around the world looking for a, a physician a specialist 
to help her, a gynecologist, to help solve the problem. She sells all her properties and still couldn't have the solution. 12 years. Masa. I mean 12 calendar years. Can I talk to you? When people are laughing at you because you lost your marriage, you lost your job, you lost your car, you lost your husband, you lost something, and they are saying things, hey, let me tell you this, if they have no idea, what has kept you for two years, three years, four years, five years, seven years, eight years, ten years, after that loss, and you have still not lost your mind, is a sign of his presence. <laughs> Because what killed people in a day, you have survived it for 10 years. Oh, every day, every day, every day. There are a lot of misinterpretations in the kingdom. People think when somebody has money, it is it's a sign that God has blessed you. There are people that are heavily blessed. Let me ask you, the Bible says, and when they threw Joseph into the prison, Joseph had nothing, but the Bible says, and the Lord was with him. The only thing Joseph had in prison was the presence of God. <laughs> Joseph did not have money, but he was the secret to his boss's prosperity. The moment he entered there, everything the, the boss had began to increase. He began to see prosperity. But the Bible said Joseph himself did not have money. Joseph himself did not have anything. The only thing Joseph had was the presence of God. Oh, come on, somebody. The Bible says, and God was with him. And Joseph was a prosperous man. It means that when you talk of prosperity, it is not money, it is presence. Wash, wash. So Moses realized this revelation in Exodus 33, 14. He said, He said, If your presence does not go with me, Lord, we are not going. For the way, me, because the guy got the revelation about the presence. Hey, hey, hey. When somebody disappoints you, Forget about it. Pursue the presence. When they snatch some things from you, don't cry. Pursue his presence. The Bible says, if a man's way pleases the Lord, Proverbs 16, 7, he will make him and his enemies live in peace. Let me tell you this. What you need to pursue in life here is his presence. Forget about it. Do you know the kind of names people are giving to me in this town? I was the first preacher that was privileged to travel abroad. They call me Kokendila. I'm, I've, I'm in, in all humility. I mean, I'm here for a mission. I understand my mission. And watch this. I brought 10 uh, uh, crusades to Obuase. You remember the history. The tent that could contain 700 to over 1,000 people. God stood me. And I started it from a very swampy place. He said, This is the first prophetically. He said, This is the spot you must do it. What is me? I'm not a sofu who is moving to I'm a sofu who is moving in the direction of the spirit. Sofu. A lot of things. A lot of things. You say, Virgin Kofosika. No, but I had to. Go through all this because God has assigned me. But watch this. I miss all those things. Do you know what I always pursue? Presence. Presence. Hey. Sell Joseph. Remove his coat. Take him out of town misinterpret him lie about him hate him subject him to ridicule the guy has presence <laughs> Hey, whatever they snatched from you eh? don't worry they, listen what they took from you was presence but you have his presence Can easily lose presence when you lack presence 
but you will never lose presence when you have presence <laughs> can easily lose presence when you lack presence but you will never lose presence when you have presence because even when they take from you the presence will bring it back it is presence that brings prosperity it is presence that brings blessings oh mother asata father sir when you have the presence of god you carry favor when you have the presence of god you carry god's glory when you have the presence of god you can never be rejected and be denied by men they can temporarily do things but can, they can never forever deny you sit down I know somebody, a preacher was saying a lot of things about me. Oh, baby, I know cooking, okay. And met one of my friends and said, Hey, that's your friend, advise him. One day they will arrest him. And when they arrest him in Ghana here, I ready pa. A preacher met my friend. One day I was in the house. I said, You have a visitor. When I came, it was this preacher, and the person doesn't know to date. And he said, eh, I want to travel. But when I was praying, the Lord laid on my heart to come and see you. I said, so what do you want me to do? He said, I want you to pray for me. Because I know you have that grace. And I said, kneel down. I prayed. And when he left an envelope, when I opened the envelope, it was a foreign currency, crispy one, brand new note. But the guy just criticized him. After a while, he realized that no, it is no cocaine issue, it is presence issue. Yeah. Tell somebody, let them say whatever they want to say. Just pursue the presence. Ah, I don't think I'm preaching right this morning. I don't think so. Am I making sense here? Hello. Watch this. When the thing dried up and there was nothing, then the Bible said, listen, you will always enjoy fellowship in his presence. In the midst of the famine, Elijah knew after the declaration, God honoring his word was a sign that God was with him. So what next? Now there's drought. The Bible says he paid attention. And said, Lord, speak, thy servant hear it. Cassandra Mitie. She said, You come up by a moyer dinner, Nyan Amkaye. And she said, A moyer dinner, many a day. And the Lord said, Move eastward. Go to the sheriff. I have commanded ravens to feed thee, and there's a brook from which to drink. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. The first step Elijah took. In the midst of the famine in his transition was to pursue presence when somebody in Korea when somebody in Korea he pursued because listen can I talk to you the presence of the Lord let me put it right the voice of the Lord is distinctly clear in his presence the voice of the Lord is distinctly clear in his presence so we train your men no what see your men when your men be kasa na be sin what you see so in the midst of the famine the man of god is in trouble but he said when i spoke the lord confirmed his word it means the lord is with me and i'm not going to do anything outside the presence. the same presence that under the word i must pursue the same presence he shot the face of god and said go eastward for i have commanded may you never lack presence listen listen while the other women were using uh, uh, Mary Kay, BBK, and all the things to polish their face. Hadassah, Hadassah was praying in tongues. She was pursuing presence. Others were also pursuing. How, how, how do you go now? 
costume and other things Cosme no, cosmetic applications and whatever time you want to give it they will do the punch yellow here in here guru here in here mary k juliet k cynthia b and akio as much as it's important to look good as a woman it is not your look you're looking good or your beauty the Bible says beauty is vain and charm is deceitful but a woman that fears God what brings the right people and right men is presence the reason why we shouldn't force you to come and pray the reason why we are doing waiting like the programs like this you should not sit down and find excuses and allow the enemy to talk you out of some of this it's because we are pursuing his presence do you think we are wasting your time eh officer will say what are you officer will say what are as you are sitting down most of you there are ministering angels there are dead of things going on you have no idea even the chair you are seated on is spiritually electrocuted there's something that the heavens are deposited in your life god is doing something in your life you may not see it but the day that opportunity comes for you to express yourself that you know that you are a woman of power a man of power yeah. there is not tell somebody there is nothing like his presence the psalmist said i was glad when they said unto me let us go to what the house of the lord somebody shout there is nothing like his presence Ooh. god told elijah go to sharif you know what god was doing it was an endorsement it was an endorsement watch this endorsement is a sign of his presence he said this is my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased this is my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased hear ye him the moment having made that statement jesus was endorsed and the endorsement confirmed god's presence with him hey my make us image but God is always with me. Yeah. You take everything from me, but me, I have that conviction that my name Emmanuel alone. I'm so grateful to the Lord for my parents for giving me that name Emmanuel. Yeah. And when they may whenever I wherever I go, wherever I walk to. Have developed the consciousness of his presence. I may look vulnerable to you, I may look simple, but trust you me, I have that inner conviction, I have that strong conviction that he's with me. He's with me. You have no idea the kind of things we have survived. Listen, listen. Shh. What you survive confirms. His presence. Sister, Obi a real sika says yes ni. I di akoti na baby. Papa, we do me sika ni na. Omo adam, we di na ho. Ni ame ka ho. Sika ni we we ako. But ni ame adam, ni ame presence in ti. You are still alive. It tells you that listen. God is about to use that occasion to work on you as part of the process because whatever you lost cannot be compared to what is reserved <laughs> I have a lot of things to say can I can I talk to somebody here amen yeah Elijah people are hungry dying but the guy is surviving do you know why because of the presence what you survive confirms his presence 
you have survived some dangerous diseases COVID-19 has killed a lot of people you you have survived HIV you have survived uh, cancer you have survived a lot it has been some movie guard yeah yeah you have survived some dangerous things which easily sweat some people away is it not a sign of his presence is it not a sign of his presence is anything heavier than the presence of god i know people who can pay three thousand five hundred or five thousand dollars a day just to be on oxygen yet they are struggling In life, it is not what you have, it's who you have. Who you have? What do you have? Me wo yesua, me wo yesua, me wo yesua, me wo. Can you believe somebody surviving at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years? Then he sees people receiving their breakthroughs and testimonies every blessed day. Hey, we have all preached a lot of messages against that guy. But if for nothing at all, his stickability. Why he never left and still stayed in the same place when people were marrying traveling building sharing their testimonies going to dubai going to london going to whatever and they are sending the and the guy is still in the same church the same place he never left the same place where he was he was supposed to step into a stinking stagnant contaminated water when you're holding but because of his stickability he stayed there but don't forget that we serve the living god who is a living water he is the fresh living water the guy's stickability caused the living water to flow to him he didn't have the ability to stink to step into the stinking water but his stickability changes the living water to flow to him hey okay what's him 38 years what about sorry he is saying mamba wa ne ho fine in the ajima smart na ready him akwa bi ba mo chain na say oba so no nya two weeks ka papa me ni musira wo so akwa mtwe na say akwa we so oba so one month to us pe Nature said, Papa, I came to tell you, oh, your message was far. Papa, I love the church. Papa, I've come and I'm tearing and so Papa, Papa, the prayer said, Me, Pedro, maybe, or you can't use them. And I'm saying, I come to prayer meeting. I saw him the next time. The third time I saw him, I was driving on this street. He saw me and said, The fourth time I saw him, he was trying to dodge. The fifth time. God is not a magician. It's because you don't understand process. So you want everything to be instant. Electronic Christian. Hello. Papa, I give a Bible the basware. Into a basware I want check. Papa, people are receiving testimonies, but the guy is 38 years. How many of you are 38? 38 calendar years he was still in the same church the same community the same house the same place and people were saying all sort of things about him somebody said stickability i came to church with my, my friend the same day we sit down we go america we do we yeah juma media me that so tie fuck on the same place the same thing happening to me depression suppression there are a lot of people living on antidepressants is it not enough to kill but for 38 years the man survived you will not die 
God is getting you ready for a surprise. God is ready, getting you ready for a better thing, a better opportunity. I thought I was talking to somebody here. His presence. Somebody shout presence. Sit down for me. Sit down for me. Sit down for me. For lack of time. For lack of time. Shh. Shh. The presence of the Lord led him watch this it is in his presence that you hear his voice it is in his presence that you can understand his leading it is in his presence that the steps of the righteous are ordered you say and you to say the steps of the righteous are ordered by the lord and here they are so this is coming and we Was it God's directing your steps? The steps of the righteous. It is only when the presence of the Lord you are overwhelmed by His presence. As many as are led by His Spirit, they are the sons. And when you are led by the Spirit, it means that you are overwhelmed by the presence. And when you are overwhelmed by the presence, you can understand his leading and follow his leading. Elijah's to the east. Maybe you don't understand. I don't have time to interpret. To the east. But there was a brook in the east. It is the voice of God. Only the voice of God that can take you to unlikely places for abnormal supplies it is listening to the voice of god that can bring you to a place where god will surprise you it is the leading of god that will break protocol in the realm of the spirit when you hear tell somebody hear his voice hey it's the can I talk to you? Mm. He said, when he sees somebody doing what he's doing, eh, eh, it is only a sign that God is with them. When you see them doing this, eh. in all humility, when you see what we are doing in Obuasi, is it easy? No, I'm asking you a question. Is it easy? Obuasi, is it easy? It is only when God is with somebody. You know what? There is nothing that is more important to me. I pursue his presence. Let me tell you this. Papa, this project came up when Obwasi was at the peak of our crisis. That is when this building project came up. When we didn't have one CD in the bank account. Mr. Ola, be on your feet. There are things we have done in this church. Eh? Actually, 99.9% of the time, it is not money we have in our account. I tell him we are going to do this. It's not him Papa, okay, sir. Do you know how I don't look at the environment? I listen to the inner voice. Elijah, go. Every true leader, for I have a lot of things. Let me end here. Every true leader must pursue his presence instead of presence. But what do you mean here? People change churches like changing dresses. Papa, they pursue presence, what the man of God can do for them, and not the presence, what God can give for them. That's what I say. Well, I know. As for that, I know when when I have a problem, you see a prophecy, and I know one day somebody will. Uh, if you are not anointed man of God, pa, ena ena, I'm sorry, but we will not be encountered. Mommy was telling me a story this morning, just this morning. I met somebody, and somebody was embarrassing a pastor. 
because somebody died in the pastor's church and the person feels that the pastor should have seen it and seen it. and I'm, i told her i said do you, in all sincerity there are people that have walked through this church and i walked them back you can ask pastors in town when i see that you are a member of this church and you're coming to you come to papa when i see one two three i'll call you and interview you when I see, there was a guy who was in this church for one year and even was dating a daughter of mine here the day i realized that another church took him to university brought him up and blah blah when i got the history i couldn't say young man listen he was part of our technical team i said this thing, i don't need in this church again go back to your original church go and beg the pastor humble yourself and tell her because my daughter, i love you he calls me back he said pastor papa i've never seen your son thank you very much i needed the guy a university graduate intelligent guy part of my my media team i walked him out of the church you can't break principles and succeed you eventually lose if you are smart say, i'm telling you the truth there are men of god in this town i have walked their members back to their church after interrogating them and meeting with the pastors i realized the purpose for which they left was not good some of them to go and apologize there you can escape for today seek his presence don't go to church seeking presence as for glorious Zion oh they really believe, 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 believe there's a day you will not get what you want seek the presence is the presence there is God there seek the presence Elijah survived the famine because he sought the presence watch this and when the brook dried up and the raven stopped because he was still in his presence he heard the voice he said elijah my presence is with you and therefore you can hear my voice go to zarephath when one door closes because of his presence million doors will open <laughs> can i talk to you let me go quickly priority let me talk about the second thing every true leader must set your priorities right the first the second thing elijah did somebody shall priority somebody shall priority now priority let me simplify it in our context it means let god be first said, let god be first what does Matthew 6 23 says seek ye first the kingdom and its seek ye God uh, seek ye first the kingdom and its can I talk to you when you make God first you have the rest with ease when God becomes first you pursue you will be pursued by the rest you know the rest the things when god becomes first the rest will follow you can i make it a statement again they say i said when god becomes first the rest will follow you best <laughs> this is british english yes, sir. Yes, sir. when god becomes first the rest will follow you best was in serious situation but he said i'm not going to use my mind i'm going to pursue the agenda of heaven yeah whoa you prefer going to a friend's party than coming to church and most of us that could have come for this the morning session prayer is 17 on your scale of preference fellowshipping with god coming to church your spiritual obligations paying tight offerings the kind of things you have to do you know as a child of god you want to become a leader tell somebody let god be first tell somebody let god be first you know the reason why everybody was 
hungry everybody was in famine everybody was struggling but Elijah was enjoying was because God was first somebody shall presence somebody shall priority Jesus said my food is to do the will of God my food that is Jesus what Jesus is saying is that God is first in my everything when Satan tempted him when he was hungry the devil will not tempt you to do anything you don't need he will tempt you the things you need in life <laughs> The things you want in life, that's what it, Jesus was hungry 30 days and nights of prayer. He said, Turn these stones into bread. He said, Man shall not live by bread alone. Can I talk to you? I, I want to send some few minutes on the last one. And let me skip this one. Watch this. Because he has set his priorities right. God was first. Tell somebody, the last thing I want to talk about and waste some time because there are some dangerous things I want to reveal to you for lack of time. Maybe I'll continue tomorrow for some two minutes and find tomorrow is an impartation day in the morning. Somebody shall provision. A leader must seek his presence. You must set priorities right. And one, pursue divine provision whenever he gives a vision he makes provision everybody watch your page at me everybody listen to me here i'm sorry if some of you are missing me a little bit because of language barrier but hear me oh mother me papa i've trained myself and i tell my children i wake up every blessed day in my life trusting god what I'll eat, what I'll drink, how my life will go. Every blessed day. So me, no human being can disappoint me. So from day one of ministry, I told mommy, I said, let us not put our trust in church money or church funds. Let us trust God for. Intimidini pay check so. My lifetime, in your mommy, and she has a bosom, whether our service or whatever, bosom, my lifetime, there's a bosom, and I'm a two cities, bosom, who are catching me, maybe that mean will be that in my life. I trust God. Can I talk to you? Every leader must pursue divine what? 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 Watch this. God told him to go to Eastward, Sheriff. God made provision. And the provision was like in the children, in the days of the children of Israel. When God brought what? Manna. The Patriot said, Shh. Manna is always at your surviving stage. Oh. I put some serious statement when, when I was praying. I put some seriously. I'm going to read it for you. It is only at your survival stage when it, that you enjoy manna. But in your transformative or in your 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 processing stage, it is no more manna. It is provision in the hands of men. God brought it down. It was in the hands of God. But at Zarephath, the provision is in the hands of the man. Uh, can I close and go? Because my time is up. At your sheriff, God said, go there. I've provided everything you need. The guy just went through and everything was going. When you when you accepted Christ, you pray, Lord, I need money. Somebody come and give you 50 cities. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I need a shoe. And somebody give it. Hallelujah. There are times you pray and the same God is not answering. What happened? That was your first love. Then you made you do it. You say yes. You made me more there. You made me more there. 
It's like a child. And no, mommy, mommy, I need cereal. Then they give you cereal. Mommy, mommy, I need cocoa. The cocoa will come. Mommy, mommy, that is age seven, age twelve. Mommy, mommy, I the shoe come. Age seventeen. Mommy, mommy, age twenty-three. Mommy, I need cereal. What are they? As you work with the Lord and progress in the Lord, some things you used to get easy, it will not be no longer cheaper. Why? Because at that tender stage, there are four developmental stages of life. We have the infant stage, the child, the child stage, and the, 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 the how do you call it, adolescent stage, and the adulthood. Now, the focus of infancy is survival. You were infant in the Lord, and you needed to survive. So God had to make certain things happen for you. But when you move from infancy to childhood, from childhood to adolescence, from adolescence to adulthood, it is no longer survivor. The provision is going to be in your hands. So he told Elijah, Ravens, you know, one more maybe you. Brook, you know, so I don't know. I read. But me, I'm I'm still with you. My presence is with you. And I'm telling you, move. Because if you stay here, no raven, no brook. Where? Go. To where? Zarephath. Out of the Jewish jurisdiction. To who? A gentle woman. I have a message. I wish I'm starting from here. Say divine connection. Watch this. In God developing your leadership ability, you must have respect for humanity. Because every human being is a door. Yes, As God works on you, one of the things God is more particular about, I keep saying this, the most appreciable asset in every vision is people. So the Bible says, Who is man that thou art so mindful of? Because the most important thing to God are not cars, are not money, human beings. I'll, I'll end here and finish this side in five, ten minutes. Then I give you the prophetic revelation God gave me between the old generation and new generation tomorrow. And it's an impartation service. If you miss it, miss it. Those of you, especially in ministry, you want to thrive, you want to see things. I'm telling you. You want to start your own business entrepreneurship? What what boy? What babusia or bank? I may say it is it is a day for a serious impartation. But let me say this as I end. He said, "I've commanded the widow woman." Man of God, can you imagine that God had commanded the woman, but the woman herself didn't know that she has been sent by God. That's the irony of the whole thing. God has sent her and said, Me, I have commanded this woman to sustain you until the rains come. And the woman God has sent doesn't even know that she has been sent. Do you know why? Because the thing she needs to keep the man, for the man to survive, she doesn't have. In life, it is not what you have that matters. It is what God has blessed. I will continue tomorrow. Mama, nani bibi? With the manna, can, can you read? Give me that scripture. Nadia, me nyam na na minko. Give me this scripture. Is it John? John? Is it sixteen fifty nine? Six, John 6 58. John 6 58. Give me that scripture. Now, men can't say me what I say. I will end here because on provision, there are some serious things I'm going to teach you how we can't trust God for things. So far, this in the general case, I said, Do you know the, 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 the price of this, this um, screen alone today? I was asking that it's almost four billion. Now, we, it's just few we, yes, we bought it a year ago and now, too. Yeah. Trusting God for divine provision. Watch this. 
the guy needs food god says the food i give to you bread from heaven manna masizi but the food i'm going to give to you i've given it to a woman and the food was not a complete food it was a raw material the woman has flour and oil Mama, and even the flour and the oil in Ukraine and so can I talk to you at your next dimension at the next level of your life with what God is about doing God is not just going to do things for you as a baby Christian no at your infant stage provision was simple and easy but at your adult stage at the next dimension and level of your life provision is in your hands heaven's provision is in your hands on on i will explain this is the bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers ate the manna and are dead he who eats this bread will live forever watch this they didn't work on the manna they were heavenly what manufactured they had no clue they just received it and they enjoyed it hello watch this but at this stage god said it is no longer manna it is bread and jesus says i am the bread how do you how do you prepare bread you have to prepare your flour mix the flour with other ingredients and then go put it in the oven take it he said i am the bread that you need to eat but that bread is not coming fresh you need to work with me to prepare that bread and when you get it i'm going to explain to you that god says the blessing the anointing i want to give you away i'm working with you so that when you get there you will have you have you have what developed masterhood you would understand how to make money how the anointing works how this thing works it is not something i'm going to give to you i'm going to work with you so the provision is in your hands you can delay the manifestation or fast speed. what strike the manifestation tell somebody the provision is in your hands oh but when you're ready she's i have the flower i have the oil be on your feet i'll continue tomorrow i'll continue tomorrow i'm going to surprise you that also for the bread that the man of god was looking for from the woman was not on my bread it was jesus himself do you know how christ is formed in you christ in you christ in you but let me tell you christ doesn't jump into you he's formed <laughs> as he's working on you and working with you I, I put some dangerous statement this morning when i was praying and reading there god gave me some strong statements i'm going to tell you let me let me give you this one let me give this there's a serious statement i made let me give that one let, let, let me say that one that one uh, 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 somebody say a trees a trees watch this anything that comes easy is temporary but anything that comes to you through tough preparation is permanent that is why the manna didn't last ah, a rat. <laughs> comes easy it's temporary i can choose to give you one million ghana cities you don't know how i i struggled how i worked to get the 100 ghana one million ghana cities it's one million the next thing i want to buy this car i want to buy this car. i want to do this i want to do party on the way she can only afford anything that comes easy is temporary through difficulty 
work process is permanent why because you were part of the process and you have the managerial skills to maintain it i think probably i'll get a new some new audience simple I worry in my a human man am my simple and say papa say about simple could a woman mm. you mean I'm in my simple you move you move we don't respect it but if God would have to get you into the process and work with you to get it you would appreciate it yeah. Yeah. when I come around there eh, now those of you around me eh, when I come around and I see that there's the fan is on nobody's at the reception, there's air conditioning on nobody's, it gets me crazy. You know why? Because when you close from church and you go, Papa, this is just by the way. Do you have any? We buy almost four, three to four thousand. Uh, 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 how much uh, amount of fuel for generator alone every day for conquest conference three to four thousand every day ask yourself how much offering are we giving when you see people bringing them he will tell you he was telling some report some of the emblems people put here depends when you see people put in what he says he kept yamana so i understand when you are part of the process your heart is there you don't want to waste it you manage it but when it comes easy you lose it because you have got it cheap lift your hands you need to pursue presence you need to set priorities right you need to pursue divine provision vampire talk to him 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 to him forgive me forgive me tomorrow i have to uh, i'll do it i'll do what i'm instructed to do forgive me for lack of time lift your hands and begin to talk to him this is your prayer this is your prayer lord help me to pursue nothing this it says one thing have I desire that would I seek after. One thing. Tell it, oh, that's what I'm telling you. Let them take everything from you. Let them call you all names, all sort of names. Can you remove my shoe from me? Let them call you all names, whatever they want to do. But trust you me. Pursue his presence. You are, you are blessing. Nothing is lost. So long as the presence is there. So long as the presence is there. Nothing is lost. Nothing. Me, one day. For security reasons. One day. I lost an amount of money in investment. That could have killed somebody. Been my heart attack. I was in Montreal, Canada praying. And the Lord said, call your fund manager. I called him and said, ah, I'm praying. Something is not right in my spirit. He said, yes. Exactly one year. I will never forget. It was 7 July. Blah, 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 blah. So, so Papa, right on the spot. I don't know what happened when I finished talking to the guy. The next day, I called him three days. I couldn't get him. The end result was the loss of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that was the time I also owed the company. They needed their money. Just $50,000. And what I went through because of that, even people that, that were so-called sons, loved ones, that I have stood in for, work for. Some of them were even facing two-year sentence, the two-year prison sentence. I stood and said, if my God is God, I cancel it. They all turned their back. Said all sort of things. When I needed them, Look at me. We are product of grace. 
We are not talking. If I'm not dead, you will not die. If I've not been disgraced, you know be disgraced. Listen, they hired people to write an article about me, gave my name, the name of my church, to disgrace me that I've come to take money from a company. So lies upon lies. But I'm here. For sure. Do you know why? Because of his presence. Because I've set my priorities right. Because I believe in divine provision. Do you know what? That fifty thousand dollars, eh? An angel I never approached, I never spoke to, I never said anything to. When they decided to send the this thing, blah blah, uh, uh, a company uh, uh, called me. They said blah 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 blah. This an article they want to write, but me, I'm a Christian. I don't want to be part of it. And I've realized that there's somebody you called a son. He's part of it. Be careful. And then another FM station. They are online. They gave it to the, the person called me. They said you, you have your name. Your name is this. Blah blah blah. We've written a story. We are going to publish it. We we'll make sure we will pull you down. I never said anything. I said I said Lord, I've never used one dollar out of this amount. It was a pledge. For anything on myself or my family if you allow them to disgrace me let them disgrace me i went to sleep an angel called me he said i heard this story and as to how he even heard the story a worker at that company firm saw my name he said ah, i know you have a relationship with this then the guy caught to date i don't know who the person is he said do you know a man of god he said, oh yeah he's my man he said there's a story they're going to publish online it's bad he said what happened i received a call from the person he said can you meet me somewhere I said, yes he said i'm coming to come and meet me i met him he said what is the issue so what is you do you also i don't know anybody he said ah, but there's a company so i then i explained everything he said oh that's all i wanted to know from you he said and called them he said if you know the man you are dealing with all of you will bow for him to pray for you and stop the nonsense until date the company has given some of their people who have traveled to america they need some help and i'm still in touch with them and i'm helping them the long and short of the story is that the person paid the money and blessed me with heavy figures afterwards i didn't go to him i didn't beg he doesn't know i didn't have to say nothing if you seek his presence if you set priorities right and if you believe in divine provisions mr Allah is here ask him where are the technical people they sometimes they can bring some figures frightening figures and i tell them never never allow figures to stop my vision Papa that is a nonsense language in my presence when I have the conviction to do it don't tell me there's no money We are praying the last prayer. Everybody. Can I get an offering bowl? How many of you know that this, these are prophetic meetings okay some of the things i'm saying i see the lord place some people on the plain land a large field and i see fresh grass coming out and i see all of a sudden harvest spring out and the people that are supposed to enjoy are fewer. And I'm standing here on this altar. And I'm telling you, whether you are in ministry, business, whatever you do, God is busily calling people to raise them up. Place some anointing for extraordinary results. But what they got it 
bit me see a present also in seven I will not be surprised that before you finish school, your university at 24, 25, you would have built your first house. Lift your hands. Get ready. Get prepared. God, God is going to do some crazy things. And all he's doing, he's preparing us. He's preparing us. Pursue his presence. Set practice right. Believe in divine provision. Lift your hands. Speak to him. When you're ready, clap your hands. Clap your hands vigorously. Clap your hands vigorously. Watch this. Anybody believing God, if you are not part of them, stop it. You are believing God for a fresh start in your life, your ministry, your business, your relationship. I don't know what you do, but you believe that you have gotten to a point where you need a fresh start. And new thing in your life. It is your day. It is your morning. In the next minute. I've said this me God visited me at the age of 12 at the age of 12 I had an encounter God visited me and I was, I've said a, a little bit of that story before. and then I understood the number 12 divine governance hello hello you have the 12 gates the 12 disciples the 12 stars listen prophetically there's something about that number and every year i remember 2012 the kind of miracles god did in my life listen every year and 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 as we get close to those figures listen i'm when i'm doing this i'm very prophetic you you are trusting god you want a new beginning what you have made effort you have done everything but you believe that this program was meant for you and you want to connect you want to sow a seed of 120 Ghana cities just pick your seed if you want to give through Momo give it sow a seed some of you were you can't say ah why is it Nani? let me tell you this one of the easiest ways to connect to every grace every anointing is a seed Put it on the altar if you have it. You are believing God and touch that. Don't go touch it. I need a new beginning. I have been through. I want to see you work up front. If you don't have it, but you believe prophetically what the man of God is saying, you have been a new beginning. I don't know, you have come to an end of something. Be busy, you think that is the end of it. Let that seed. Let that seed connect. You need what you are believing God for. I don't know what you are prayed for. I don't know what it is. But you are trusting God for a divine encounter. A new beginning. Come and join them. Put it on the altar. Touch the altar three times. Where's the oil? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Go here. When it touch the altar three times with your seat, put your hand, your index finger or two, and touch your forehead. Go.
highest beginning. On your baby bridge out, I'm our life highest so I'm a so good in Listen to me. 52 Ghana cities. Take it. Lord, I need a new beginning. Come, run. Put it on the door. Touch it three times. Touch it three times. Touch the oil. Go and sit down. You need an intervention. You have 22 Ghana cities. Come, touch it. You have 12 Ghana cities. Watch this. 52. 22. 12 cities. Run. Put it. Go. Put this on your forehead, don't stop. Pray for 10, 30 seconds. Lord, this is the day, the day, the day. From Saturday, woman, so speak it, speak it. This is it. A new dawn for new beginnings. Remember, not the former days, neither consider the days of the I'm about to do a new thing. Lord, touch. section everybody will be touched and there'll be a serious impartation serious healings serious deliverances i think they were sharing the testimony of that lady where is that lady oh yes i thought i said something will come out of her and when that thing it's a it's a physical sign that she has been delivered wait god is going to do something in your life and you'll be amazed no, the, the, the testimony will continue you are not vomiting normal every any anybody but things were coming out of here yes i said it yesterday when they, i said bring her out bring her back in don't take her out because i saw it's a sign sister and mark my words if i'm a man of god you see fresh door open for you watch this watch this watch this a lot of serious healings miracles are going to happen today this evening tomorrow morning tomorrow evening even if somebody asks you to go to party at the corner of heaven tell them jesus is here i'm coming don't miss it for anything i'm not joking and there are some things god showed to me and spoke to me specifically amen. so please forgive me pardon me because there are a lot of things i needed to share with you but tomorrow i'll take over by 9 30 latest or 9 25. Maka, the prophetic message god has for me especially between the new the need for the uh, the, the bridging of the gap between the new generation and the old generation you don't have no respect for them there are some people you don't value them because you are richer than them you are more educated you are more you are more connected you have more exposure you have whatever that is your problem i'm going to show you some things you'll be amazed especially those of you in ministry eh? and i'm going to show you some things you'll be, you'll be amazed 
you call people father you want to take this but we, we, you don't know how to sow seeds connect to anointings grace and assesses to seed seed one of the easiest things to do i'm going to show you some things you'll be surprised so pardon me lift your hands tonight 5 30 is another night hallelujah there's an overflow so please come on time to avoid any embarrassment when you are hanging somewhere lift your hands anything you walk in here with that is not of god any deposit in your life that is not of god yeah yeah Don't, don't, don't worry. Listen. Now, do you know what? When I say anything, I saw 12 angels walk in. Now, I saw Enkofobi instantly. The apparel had been changed. And I saw fire coming upon some people. And I saw three people. They were giving some sword. Lift your hands. Can I get water? I'm done. Lift your hands. And I'm done. Whatever he has intended to do and deposit on your life, take it. Some of you, it's very anointed. Take it. Take it. Yeah, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah, take it. Take it. Take it. Don't look at anybody. Take it. Twelve angels that's what Take it. Receive it. I saw something where for no reason. as I am There are some four or five people white. One of you then say, Why not mind the sincerity i'm telling you what god showed me eh? a radical term so obey serious miracles amongst us tomorrow morning if you know anybody sick if you know anybody that is going through some demonic torment or whatever this evening tomorrow morning tomorrow evening mark my words lift your hands father 
whatever you have started I bring your soul out you want Thank you for what you are doing what thank you for what you are about to do thank you for the visitation thank you for transforming lives thank you for picking lives that didn't matter the foolish things of this world the weaker things making us the wisest making us the mightiest in your hands let the whole world know that you have called you have chosen bring here Bring her. You have chosen. Bring her. You have chosen. And you set apart. The frozen. Huh? Deborah. How old are you? Twenty. God brought you here to just save your life. This morning. There are some things I'll tell you. Oh, I'll say be few And that's why she would die at 21. Lift your hands. Father, thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor for all you've done. In Jesus' name, Amen. Me pacho enumere, me pacho. Prophet Addison books, no. Uh, let me know from uh, how many do they have. My new book has come. I have three books, new book, but I want to make sure that the the books Prophet Addison brought, brought, we sell them out. Amen. Oh, Adi. Yes. Then you come to, you come to money. We don't sell books for money, no. No, not at all. Not at all. But the revelation. So please, make sure you come on time. 5.30 tonight. Come on time. And come with somebody. Don't miss it. Tonight will be something else. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening. By Sunday, dear. Now, if you believe, lift your hands. Let's share the grace together. Amen. Me pacho prophetic direction. Small padlock. Eh, some of these things they look foolish, oh. Ne padlock say. What do you know, ne? Small padlock. Small, the little one. Ah, who knew Suda? Eh, who knew Suda? The one you did for was not fair with me because me was getting getting be brave. But you need to get the new one new one and he said one big one right eh? yes so little little padlocks kokoto one kasa little padlocks go and buy it prophetic instruction i did not think of it god told me to do something that didn't make sense but four four hours after that miracle started me myself i was shocked so please don't joke with the prophetic instruction a little padlock new one bring it tonight and as the Lord leads his servant, we will have encounters. I love you. Bless you. Let's share the confession of it together. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Come with your pledge. Come with your envelope. And whatever it's. When you are supposed to write your names. Mama Mama stage, you know. Write your name on the um, uh, handkerchief. And your thousand, your two thousand or whatever. Put 20 Ghana cities in it. Please. Make sure you follow those instructions. God bless you.